Looking at the Sala dei Cinquecento, the result of Vasari's extensive rearrangement carried out between 1563 and 1572, it is quite difficult to imagine the original appearance of the Republic's Sala del Maggior Consiglio, built by the architect Cronica from 1495, in the brief space of six months. The room, the same size as it is now, was so long and wide in respect to its height, dwarfish and lacking in headroom, all in all disproportionate. In 1503, the life gonfalonier of the Florentine Republic, Pier Soderini, commissioned Leonardo da Vinci to paint a large fresco of the Battle of Anghiari, the Florentine victory over the Milanese in 1440 and Michelangelo to paint one of the Battle of Cascina, where the Florentines defeated Pisa in 1364. It was here, on the east wall of the Salone dei Cinquecento, where Vasari has painted three frescoes showing episodes in the war against Siena, that Leonardo and Michelangelo must have illustrated the battles of Anghiari and of Cascina, respectively above the seats of the Bonomini and of the Gonfaloniers of the companies of the militia. On the west wall, the presence of the four windows would have made it impossible to fit in the two murals, which are thought to have measured 18 by 7 metres. In 1503, it was ordained by public decree that Leonardo should be set to paint some beautiful work, and thus by Piero Soderini, at that time gonfalonier of justice, the said room was entrusted to him. For which reason, wanting to undertake the work, Leonardo began a cartoon. And it is said that in order to draw this cartoon, he made a very clever building, which got taller when it was squeezed and smaller when it was stretched. And thinking to paint the wall in oils, he made such a thick mixture for the plaster on the wall that as he continued to paint in the said room, it began to fall off, so that in a short time he abandoned it, seeing that it was spoiled. According to Vasari, it was the failure of Leonardo's experimental method of painting in oils on the wall which caused the artist to abandon the work. All the sources are in fact agreed that Leonardo made use of an oil painting technique probably derived from the literature of antiquity, rather than the traditional fresco method. Moreover, we know that before he began to paint on the wall, Leonardo worked on a reduced scale model, with an oil painting technique which required live coals to dry the colours. Michelangelo completed only the preparatory drawing for the Battle of Cascina, and never began the translation into fresco.